hello and welcome back to another video so i asked in my last acrylic pouring video whether you would like to see more um i'm i'm gonna be honest i'm filming this because i've got it all set out and this is exactly two seconds after i finished the last filming for the one that you've already seen um i thought i'd film it just in case you enjoyed it or in case i needed a spare video so um that's it i've put in the link above um if you want to go and watch that first one i might do a little playlist of these going to become a thing um so like i said in the last video i need to stock up on some coasters so one of the coasters that i sold at my last stall was kind of a pinky gold silvery variant and people seem to really enjoy that one so i thought i would recreate it obviously as much as i can in terms of colors i can recreate so i've got my silver pebio paint like i mentioned in the last one and i've got a nice pink abstract sennelier acrylic and a gold um, acrylic by the same brand so i'm thinking i'm going to mix those two i don't think well i'm going to put a little bit of white in there just as my base color just because that's a good one to have in there and let's see what we're going to do i think i'm going to uh, um torch the coasters before i tip them i think that might be a nice one um but yeah let's get on with that i might maybe i'll add black instead of white hmm or maybe both hmm. no let's just add let's add white for this one maybe we'll add a black one to the others but i've got i still got all those blues mixed up which i probably shouldn't have mixed so much up i don't know why i did i just i'm in the habit of doing big batches of things um so maybe i'll do a canvas with those as well i don't know but let's mix these up and um get on with the pouring i'm going to skip over the mixing because you saw that in the last video you don't need to see that again um but if you want to see the quantities that i use on my experimentation just watch that previous video so let's get into it right so i've mixed the paint up we have <clears throat> our pink i added a little bit of red in there just to make it a little bit darker i don't know if you can tell um there is our gold and then we obviously have already mixed up the silver from the last pour and our white so i'm thinking i'm gonna do a bloom on this one or well not a bloom but something similar um so i'm going to do the white backs again like i did on the previous video i have um backed all these so they keep them clean um so let's time lapse that and then i'll show you what i'm going to do in terms of the color on top So my thought process for this bloom-esque type pour is that I'm going to do a I'm going to do a base of this white that I've shown you. Then I'm going to pour the same unsiliconed white just at the bottom here, just a little blob of it in the centre, just as the let's call it the carrying medium. This is just going to allow it to spread a bit easier. It'll connect to the white that we've already poured on there and it's not got any silicone in so it shouldn't come through the colour too much then I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to do a blob of pink on each then I'm going to do a little bit of the gold and then a little bit of the silver might have done far too much on these <laughs> but like I say my paint is a little bit thick on the thicker side then I'm going to add the white with the silicon in just in the center there and then I was going to blow it but I think I'm going to use a um, spatula let me see a bigger one so I'm going to use a spatula and I'm just going to swipe that white over the colors oh, actually I think a smaller one might be better so we're just going to swipe that over it's kind of just playing around with it see so sometimes if you don't mix your flow at all you do get little chunks like that so you just have to be aware and take those out when you see them um but i think that's looking good like that so as you can see it's a bit more subtle you don't get much of the colour in there um, um, 
so hold on and we're going to torch it quickly and see if we can bring some more cells out maybe even in the middle that is kind of what we're looking for so i like it i think there's a bit too much white in these so all i'm going to do is i'm just going to get some of this paint on the bottom here dip my spatula in it and kind of just swipe over a little bit bring some of that colour into the centre a bit more um, if you're doing a proper bloom you want to leave that centre because you want it to look a bit more like a flower type, type situation um, kind of bring some of that colour in like that um, and then we torch that a little bit see if we can bring anything else out in those probably not um, and then that's it you can you can um, kind of manipulate this how you like so maybe if you want to cover a bit of a corner you can tip it and um, that sort of thing so I'm gonna time lapse this bit whilst I just manipulate this a little bit more and then we'll come back to it but I really like how subtle these are if someone's got a pink or a red accent in the kitchen this is perfect I think um, so let's time lapse that and see where we get to this as you can see I've swiped over some of the pink and the gold and everything and mixed it into that blue a little bit we've got some really nice colors variation here so I'm hoping we pick up all that um, on this we might do one or two again um, but all I can say is this should look very nice and I'm excited to see what the outcome is so let's get dipping let's pop that in there squidge out the sides that's it make sure those corners are done and then let's lift up and see what the result is wow look at that that's a really nice color combination i like that i think it's very nice some people will love that so i think i'm going to do one more there's quite a lot of paint here um so let's do one big one big it's the same size <laughs> one more uh, i think it's because i was just thinking i wonder if we could do this with a canvas and it could turn out quite nice um so let's do this and um, comment down below if you think canvas would be nice doing a dip technique we'd have to make sure we've done plenty of pause prior um so let's get dipping in here i think we've got some nice colors going on here let's go here let's press that in paint all over my fingers so i need to be mindful of that um let's make sure the middle's pressed in plenty probably get way more than two out here but sometimes it starts to over mix um, but wow, yeah, it's not over mixing yet. I think you could probably get a third, but I think we'll stop at two. It's quite an acquired taste um, and look to this one. So we'll, we'll certainly see if people like it and go with that. So I'm going to end the video here again. Um, I really enjoyed doing this with you and I think I'd like to do like a mammoth paw next and again that'll probably be filmed straight after this um, because I need to get a lot of coasters done and it might be nice to just do a big paw but again maybe not maybe we'll save it and see what your thoughts are and we'll I'll maybe film the next set of paws that I do you might see it in the vlog though so keep an eye out for that and um, I hope you've enjoyed the video please hit that thumbs up if you did again comment down below if you'd like to see more of these and subscribe if you do want to see more I'm posting a video every Monday and Friday Mondays tend to be my art video Fridays tend to be my vlog um, so I hope you come and enjoy that with me and come on this journey with me because I really want to start just creating more art and experimenting a little bit more um, and I'd like to have some more people along that journey with me so thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one bye bye